Welcome everyone, this is another D3GIS tutorial and today we will see data joining and this is a continuation of from the previous uh, data joining and today we will see a big uh, JavaScript array which contains objects as you can see I took this data from Wikipedia uh, these are the top 10 software companies and I changed to yeah JavaScript array and in the array there are objects the first index the second index and it continues up to 9 or 10 uh, it's up to 9 so we're about to create a table for this data using D3 so how are we going to create uh, let me also show you I have already created CSS uh, property for the table and border border collapse vertical line and background so just very simple uh, CSS property for our table so how am I going to create var table equal to d3 dot select body and we have to append the table right table is an HTML element so this is and then table body I think header table head d3 select mm, actually I can append it to table to append table head var table body table dot append table body body yes now I have created the HTML let's see how it looks like inside the console the Chrome console if we see if we have something already I think we don't have anything so far um, okay so far we don't have anything let's see now table head dot append t r and dot select all t h and we have to add now the header for our table the header is going to be rank country company cell market capital head office so data and it's going to be columns dot enter dot append and we're going to open what the table header and function usually d return d okay so first we have to var columns because we don't have the columns or we have to have all these values in the columns let me copy and put it in array I think I can remove all this uh, I think that's a bit tedious tedious I could say and change to array And let's change this to string T 
think. So this is our column, as you can see. Now, let me save. Yeah, as you can see, now I can see the column. That's great. So now let's also add var rows. The rows is going to be t body dot append. Actually, when I append, what are we going to append? Row, and then select all the t this. I think it would be nice if we, if I see from rows. Yeah, first actually we we'll have to append the data, and this is supposed to be select select all all the selecting all the rows and then we add data and our data is going to be this data this data and our data is software companies let me copy I put and then Enter then append tr. Now we created a row containing all our data. This data is array containing many objects. <coughs> so let's also create the cells. So the cell is rows. Rows means this row and select all TD. That's all the cells. We're selecting all the cells. And then data. Now we structure function row. Row here, it could be any by the way, but for our case we just say row return columns dot map we're mapping action column and return column to column and value it's good to make value to row column now we are mapping. That what was I? So let's enter and also let's append td. Then by that time, text dot function di return d dot value by now we have to have all the tables we have a mistake where is it column yeah where is it one hundred something one hundred twenty five one hundred twenty five by now everything so as you can see now we draw a table we build a table from javascript object so we can use just html or css to uh, make such kind of table but 
how about if our data is coming from some website so if we like to create table or if we like to display this data in another form dynamically so this really can help us to to uh, do table or bar graph or histograph or to represent data in different form so in the next tutorials also i will use this java script object uh, so if you like the source code i will put this source code in the code pane so in the uh in the, in this video then you will get this exact uh, javascript object and you work with this is the data which we are going to work in most of the uh, tutorials we may use for pie chart donut chart um, bar graph histograph uh, so that's all about uh, data joining I think if you understand what we have done so far then by now you know almost uh, the basic of this js if you know how to select a different html if you know how to select all or select a diff uh, a specific html element if you'll be able to modify the html element using css if you'll be able to add some logic using function and if you'll be able to join data into the html element if you'll be able to remove add insert then by now you have a good understanding of this regs in the coming tutorial we will talk about um, representation of data uh, to in a more graphical way and also we will see svg uh, scalable vector graphics i think that's the abbreviation for svg thank you so much for watching this video and I will be back in another video